This is Complete Plumbing performing video inspection work for Greif Inc. Uh, right now we are video inspecting a sanitary sewer line that serves the men's and women's bathroom at the east end of the plant. Uh, we've introduced the camera equipment into a clean out outside of those bathrooms and we've advanced it in what we presume is going westbound towards the front of the property. This section of sewer here from approximately 130 feet a few seconds ago um, will be repeated three times. Uh, in this first video, uh, this was after or during work that was performed on June 26th where we responded to a request to service a clogged sewer line, power routed the sewer, and then did a video inspection to evaluate the condition of the sewer once we power routed it to open it. Uh, as you see, that sewer is pretty much clean from the start of the video. Uh, there are some low areas where there's water, standing water, but other should otherwise flow. But then we come into a debris field of scale build up from the pipe. It starts here about 108 feet. You can see the chunks of scale laying in the bottom of the pipe. In fact, the scale is so heavy here that it's piled up here and closed about three quarters of the pipe up. That's at 105 feet. So we did power rod this section of video, or yeah, power rod this section of video again after this video was made to uh, try to clear some of that debris. But obviously it's going to be hard to move that through the sewer system uh, with the power routing equipment from upstream. We come out of the debris at a, uh, we came out of the debris there at about 100 feet. This is the second time that we serviced the sewer on July 8th. And again we started at about 130 feet. And you can see where we were. Uh, fairly clear is now um, the scale has been distributed down the drain line to 120 feet as opposed to 107 the first time. Obviously the debris is so thick here that the sewer is underwater. But this, the debris field has spread out uh, again, from originally about 107 to 100 feet with a big pile at 105 feet back in June to now about 128 to 103 feet before we come out of the water. These areas are underneath ovens and are not access easily accessible. Uh, now we're going to go, this is coming back out of the water about the 100 foot mark again. Now this is the third time uh, that we service the sewer. Um, July 13th, starting again at about the same spot, 130 feet. You can see the debris in the bottom of the pipe. It is even distributed even more so, flattened out, but it's still very heavy debris. As you'll see there, you can push it like a hand through sand. Um, so this is going to continue to be an area of concern until all that debris scale can be flushed out of this sewer line uh, with recommendation of doing that from downstream with hydro jetting equipment. Uh, there will need to be some accommodations made in the sanitary sewer to accommodate that recommendation, which would include installing a, a clean out, a two-way clean out to where this section could be back jetted and that debris could be completely cleared out. Otherwise, there's potential for this to continue to be a problem.